Hey there, Casey Gray here from The Conscious Builder, and this week I'm excited that we are celebrating 10 years in business. And on this video, I'm going to share the top three lessons that I've learned after being in business for 10 years. When I look back on it, it's amazing to think how far we've come as a business and what lessons I've learned over these years. It's definitely school of hard knocks. It has been a roller coaster to say the least. There have been extremely high highs and extremely low lows. But what I'm most proud about is how I personally have evolved as a business owner, a leader, a father, a husband, and ultimately a human being. To some that may sound strange, you know, complimenting ourselves is not something that comes naturally. It definitely did not come naturally to me. If I said the stuff that was in my head to myself to somebody else, I probably would not have any friends right now. And to be able to compliment myself and be proud of myself like this in public, to me just shows how far I have come over the last 10 years, because that was not the case at that point. But that is why the number one lesson that I wanna share that I've learned after 10 years is that business is 20% mechanics and 80% psychology. I don't know if it's exactly that, you know, the 80-20 rule, right? We, we'll go with that, but either way, there's a lot of psychology. When I started my business, I was just like every other tradesperson who starts their own business. I figured that I was pretty darn good carpenter, so I might as well go out, work for myself since I'll be able to make more money, right? Well, wrong. <laughs> I was definitely wrong. Not only is there a lot to know about business, but there's even more to know about myself and other people. And I didn't realize that at the beginning. So what I mean is that the majority of what I do, continue to do, and what I ended up doing at the beginning was managing emotions, my emotions and also other people's emotions. I needed to make sure that I was in a good state for my family, but I also needed to be able to manage all the different personalities of my employees, the subtrades, the clients and so forth. And there's a quote that I've learned through all this personal development I've done uh, there's a quote that always stuck with me and it's this, the success of a business is dependent on the psychology of the business owner. This I 100% agree with. When shit hits the fan, which it inevitably will, right? Uh, it's happening right now, right? For, for everybody, no matter what business you're in, it's how well the owner, the owner manages that will be how well the business does. So I'm not saying that you need to be perfect as a business owner, but if you're not able to control your own mindset and ultimately your emotions, your business and your life will suffer. So right now is a tough time for most people in the world. For us, it's the same, right? Financially, uh, our, our revenue dropped by over 90% because we couldn't do work, right? There's only so many things we could do or people put their job on hold. But if I had not been working on myself for the last 10 years, this would have been the most difficult time ever. Instead, the last three months of my business career has been the most exciting time and actually, in my opinion, the best time in business. Yes, our revenue is down, but it's given us other, there's so many opportunities out there. So the number one by, le lesson by far is if you want to improve your life or your business, you need to improve yourself. Don't expect things to change if you're not willing to change. If you want your business to improve, but you're not willing to improve, chances are it's not gonna happen. All right, number two, get the right people on the bus. You've probably heard this before. Uh, knowledge is one thing, uh, action is another, right? There's no need to add additional work to your plate. You already have enough work on your plate as a business owner. And having to deal with internal drama is the biggest waste of time ever. I've dealt with it. Uh, it's not fun when you start having internal uh, problems because people can't get along. You need the right people in the right positions. And you also need to make sure that uh, they're the right people for your business, right? There are, there are plenty of amazing people out there that I know, but I wouldn't necessarily hire them for this business because it's not the right business for them. It doesn't match their life. Uh, that's because our business is not for everybody, just like your business won't be for everybody either. So once again, when shit inevitably hits the fan, which it always does, at some point, you need your team to be strong and stick together. So yes, their mindset's important too, but as a leader, you're gonna be leading that. And so you don't want to be adding additional stress to this already stressful situation. You want your team to grow stronger every day, 
But remember, a team is important because nothing great was ever accomplished alone. Number three, don't chase the money. <laughs> this probably took me the last 10 years to actually to learn, but uh, we've had a few interesting clients over those last 10 years. We've had a lawsuit, I'm not gonna hide anything. It's, it's business, right? There's a lot of things that happen. But just like getting the right people on the bus, you also need to find the right clients and you need to find the right projects or the right product, whatever it is your business is. You should be looking forward to the work as opposed to the paycheck. To be clear, I'm not saying that, you know, don't make money and, you know, take a loss. You have to make money as a business. If you're gonna stay in business, money is extremely important. Uh, and in fact, I believe that it's your duty as the owner to make money, to support the team, to stimulate the economy. There's people counting on you, right? And if you or your business is not making money, you should probably get out of business. So what I'm saying is that you shouldn't be making decisions based on the money you will make. Money is a side effect of the value that you put out into the world, that you put out into whatever industry that you're in. So if you take on a job or a client that you're not feeling good about because you either need the money or there's a potential for a large profit, in other words, you are going against your gut. I guarantee you it won't be an enjoyable experience. You know, if, if you can get those two things, then great, right? But no amount of money is worth putting yourself and your team through unnecessary psychological pain, essentially. So remember, every time you say yes to one thing, you're saying no to another. There's only so, many, so much time in a day, so make sure you are saying yes to the right things you will feel better, the money will come, I promise you. So yes, there's a lot more lessons I can share on that note, and obviously we can get into all sorts of practical things that I've learned over 10 years. But like I said, at the beginning, business is 20% mechanics uh, and 80% psychology. Like I said at the beginning of this, of this episode. And if knowledge and information is what people needed to succeed, we would all be multimillionaires living completely fulfilled lives, but that is not the case. The difference is in the action and that action comes from having the right psychology. So my advice to anybody who's getting into business, no matter what it is, is to focus on yourself and personal development first. But start moving forward and don't stop. The best education, in my opinion, is to just go out there and start doing it, is to get experience. Yes, learn from those who have done it before, like myself, uh, but I learned from lots of other people also, but you should understand that you're on your own journey and you just have to start it. And there's never going to be a perfect time. Uh, actually, maybe right now is the perfect time, so you should start now. So anyways, if this has been a helpful video, video and you wanna dig into more topics like this, as well as the mechanics and, and other things that we've talk, talked about, uh, we're currently working on a new platform called The Conscious Builder Academy. And if you wanna learn more about that and stay up to date, head to ConsciousBuilderAcademy.com. Thanks for watching another video here and thanks for sticking around if you've been around with us since the beginning for 10 years and I look forward to catching you on the next video.